Okay, so we're on the second part. Sorry, I got this in a bad spot. I'm really getting the light behind me, but maybe I can shift. Okay, you'll just have to deal with it. Okay, so we left off here, and now we're going to start on the background. And it's the same thing. Some of them can be solid. Some of them can be patterns, but really change to different colors, more blues and greens and reds, and just to make that pumpkin stand out. Okay, so um, I'm going to do a couple sections and I'll just pause every once in a while and show you where I am. Okay, I've gotten a few done here and I just kind of want to show you what I'm doing. So I kind of took the smaller um, little chunks and made them solid. So I have a blue here and I have a solid green over there and then down here I have another blue. Okay, and notice I really haven't used orange anywhere. This over here, sorry, wrong side, is it's actually pink and and blue it's kind of hard to tell but yep so very different colors and you'll notice the pumpkin is really starting to stand out and you can just make patterns your patterns can be lines i use some vines down over here in the corner polka dots just do a good common you know ones that are really solid colors and then ones that are more like with little things printed in like the vines or the polka dots try to vary those out so they're not over this all the same that would be more in the style of what Romero Brito did. So I'm going to finish coloring this and then I'll show you it. Okay, this is the completed Romero Brito pumpkin in the style of Romero Brito. So it'd be great if you guys as a class when you got done went back and looked at your uh, video about Romero Brito and see if you think you got yours kind of in his style. But according to what we said, it was um, big shapes with black outlines with nice saturated colors and patterns in them so according to that i think this meets it so finish those up notice i didn't do too many solids there's a few in there i see one two three four five maybe and then the rest are patterns okay so don't just go all with solids because it's easier and it's a faster way to get done okay again take your time coloring and make sure white doesn't show through. So the only place I have white is the one thing that I want to be the focal point that I want to stand out, which is my flower right there. So I left that white. Um, so you can pick one thing to leave white and that should be the only thing. The rest of it, all the paper should be covered. Okay, good luck. I hope you're happy with this project and we'll talk to you soon.